Well guys, that's another old form in the book. Celtic won, Rangers nil, and that Celtic now undefeated in the last 10 old firms, which just shows you their dominance in Scottish football. And to be fair, it was really deserved. That 1-0 does not justify the scoreline. It really should have been 3 or 4 Celtic. Hit the bar twice. It should have been game over earlier. But Rangers, really, I'm not going to sit and bash Rangers. Rangers done well defensively. I think they panicked in possession. And when they got up there, like up in the final third, they just really didn't do anything with the ball. I think they panicked in the midfield really. Which kind of set the game apart because Celtic were really dominant in the midfield, especially Nietzsche. And what a player who ended up getting the winning goal. And to be fair though, I did predict that a Rangers player would get sent off, and I don't know how all of them stayed on the park. I mean, really, Alan McGregor should have been sent off for his uh, lash out on Azure. Really should have been sent off. And plus, Lafferty, I think, I personally think that was a dive. I've even seen Rangers fans on Twitter calling him for being a diver. Just, that's just no one, especially in football. Any anyway, you can't. You get Brandy's a dive on the. You should, you should get fined for that every time. But anyway, you dive, give Scott Brown a yellow card, and you move on for that. And go back to the goal for a second. Nietzsche's goal was great finish, great play, but there's a lot of Rangers fans and speculation, especially Gerard, who's blamed the ref a lot, which I think is a bit laughable since he should have been doing 10 men. But that Ryan Jack got fouled on the way he sailed to his goal. I think Rogic kind of started as Rangers were on the attack, then the ball got kind of cleared, the ball went up in the air. And I think Roger, there was definitely contact, but I don't think it was warm enough to go down the way he did. I really think, I have seen him given before, so I understand why Rangers are quite furious with the ref. But for me, it, just, it didn't warrant it enough to go down. And obviously Roger just took the ball, passed, passed it out wide, crossed, I think it was uh, James Forrest, crossed it in a neat champ, who saw it in the back of the net, which was a great finish. And Celtic got what they deserved, they really deserved the three points, and I, I don't really see why Rangers complain. Yeah, okay, there, there was a foul, but Celtic did deserve the three points. It was, it'd be quite horrible if they, they'd done all that and didn't get three points because it's what they definitely deserve. But I really don't think Rangers should be taking lately. Like, the gap has definitely improved, but it's still far apart because Celtic could have easily won this game 3 4 now. But the fact that they didn't shows Rangers are improving, especially defensively. I thought they were really solid defensively. I think they panicked in the midfield and Morelos was nowhere to be seen. I don't know why... I really think it would have been a different story if Lee Griffiths started, but he never really came out and changed the game either, though. Because I did say yesterday as well how when he's owned those goals, but it started with Edward, which he had a mediocre day himself. But Celtic's midfield was dominant, especially when Rangers, when Rangers had the ball. They didn't keep possession and they panicked, and I think that's what ended up costing them the game. Anyway, guys, what do you think? Comment below. Please don't. Uh, I like to hear all your opinions. Please don't forget to subscribe. And yeah, guys, see ya.